All right, lads, we are off to Adelaide. Um, we've got the sixth rental car with the branding all over it. It's a BMW. It is bright, bright orange. And um, that is going to be the mode of transport for us to go to Adelaide. We're going to stop at Horsham first. Now, Rog, we're familiar with Horsham. We stayed at Horsham for um, for the Carlton Draft after the nil win versus Dale Thomas. But, we did. Um, Absolutely pumped, and we can't wait to, to get underway. How's the Beamer? How's the Beamer? Mate, she's a bit bigger than the old uh, Mazda 2 that I'm used to driving at home, but this is exceptional. Thank you, Six. Handling We've only well. got uh, three and a half hours until we're halfway. We could cook. Watch him cook. Nah, but we cook. Yeah, I, I don't want to, but we could. Um, <laughs> so we got the kitchen. Yep. We're, we're not doing much. We're going down the local pub. Lighting. LeBron James. <laughs> That's Roggie's bed. Roggie, what a champion taking the couch. Well, I don't know how... <laughs> maybe it's yours. I don't know how he's got the short. Hey, he volunteered for the, You volunteered no, for the I'm, couch. I like a couch sleep. Jersey stacked along and, and, and pinched the bed. I don't mind. No, I'm at, I'm, like, I'm at, because if the situation was... No one really wants the couch, so then it's like two people in one bed, one in the other. I was like, I'm happy to make the situation easy on everyone to make sure we've all got our own space. Good couch. Dude, it looks like a comfy couch. Yeah. Also, but the, the prerequisite is that I do need a blanket. So, if we're lacking a blanket. Got up early today to head to Adelaide. We're about an hour and a half, two hours in, and we're at Border Town. And I've got this massive mural. So we're gonna stop here for a little bit, bit of a snack, bit of a rest, and then we're on to the city of churches. Do you reckon they call it Border Town because it's a town on the border of Victoria and South Australia? That would have to be it. It has to be it, either that or it's where former captain of the Australian cricket team, Alan Border, came from. We've arrived in Adelaide, we've gone up to the hotel room, and now we're going down to Glenelg Oval to film with Lockie Scholl and Ben Keys. Glenelg, the good thing is, if you accidentally type it into your maps backwards, you still get to the same place. What do they call that? Uh, when it's the same way, one way as it is the other. Yeah. Reversible. <laughs> 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 Versatile. Yeah, yeah. A, a utility word. Yeah. You can just put it anywhere and it works out. Who did we just say, McDonald? Did you just spot Tex Walker, Drews? I did. We've been here two minutes and we've already walked past Tex Walker. That is unbelievable. That's the most Adelaide thing you could ever experience. Man, how are you? Oh, yeah, nice to meet you guys. Hello, hi. Hi. Video over. Thank God. Now we don't have to get it. <laughs> Disappointed with my efforts, but not surprised. Pretty typical of uh, a C. Rogers kicking performance. Last week, I officially lost my license to bite off corridor kicks. I've been working to get it back, but today didn't do me any favours. So proud of this man. But you know, I'm not surprised at all. This is just what he does. Weirdly, just sort of good at everything. Weird little backyard sort of tricky games. I'm yeah. good at winning the hardball on the wing. Not for me. Really tough with the uh, kick to LA, crypto.com challenge. Um, Sholey was very good though, he got it in. Um, got close a couple of times, but not going to LA unfortunately. We're in Adelaide for Gather Round, thanks to crypto.com. We're gonna have a crack at the kick your way to LA competition. Head to the link to give it a go yourself. That was really good. Well done. Mate. Professional. Well done. <laughs> so lovely. <laughs> Oh, that was unbelievable, Drewsy. It was quite funny. So we came down and filmed with the crows, um, and the cameraman who was meant to film our Crypto.com segment, uh, kick your way to, to LA, thanks to the uh, Adelaide Footy Club. Um, the guy who was meant to come down and film that segment was stuck in traffic at Adelaide Oval. So Drews, behind the cam, 
Come on. Um, came in clutch and filmed for us. How was that experience, Drews? You can put Adelaide Football Club digital content director on your resume. Crypto.com as well, brands you've worked with. Yeah, pretty much a professional videographer for the AFL at this point. I mean, I wasn't expecting it coming here. I thought I'd just be sort of lurking in the background, but got the job done, chuck it on the resume. Happy days. Up to the Marmalade uh, mansion for the day. And look, we've got a little greeting signs. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Kados 38 plus friends. That's unreal. I don't know what we're I mean, doing. I only live with the boys and I can't even get a Rog. It's, I'm part of the friends column. I They're my know, housemates. I don't know what we're going to walk into. Is Jack going to be in, a, in an outfit of sorts? Or... Oi! Willie Taylor! Hello, boys. Well, about this is Caden. Good to see you, brother. Hello, Drewsy. How you doing? We've walked out before. It's the furthest thing you've slept with. We're all sleeping on the couch tonight. Yeah. That's illegal. What's it made of? Concrete. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> jump, on it, jump on it. Oh, our ankle's gone. <laughs> so, we've been introduced to Billy's, the famous cafe that's open 24 hours. The boy's having a feed and a half. Seriously. Seriously. Look at that. What is going on there? Really oh, really happy with this steak sandwich. Yeah. I'm over the moon. And roger has gone experimental, so I've gone a pie and and a fresh ham slinger that they've made just then for me and me only. Roger's gone a, a Krans Kransky sort of uh, operation, sub operation. I said I want the Kransky with the lot. I feel like we're in an iconic New York diner that has like a video on Vice about it and everyone goes there. So I thought I want to get something that not anyone else goes and the Kransky with the lot is so left field and I'm telling you I'm bloody happy with it. Bit of tomato sauce when you go astray but it's gross. Fantastic. There's actually one of them underneath that. They can't be. There's one of those underneath that. What is that? You can poke your finger in if you wish. There's a, there's a pie in there. What is that? That's pea and ham soup and that is that is the meat pie that you would... Oh! What the hell? That is incredible. <laughs> Boys, first ever time at Villiers, what do you rate it out of 10? That is, oh, that's, that is, that's church. That's, I love that joint. Um, 7 out of 10. Uh, eight, 9, 9 out of 10. It's not my first. I'll take um, your first, Roggy. Two and a half. Oh! oh. Roden, we're on the way to Adelaide Oval and about what, 12 hours ago. The beautiful light. Beautiful light now, and we're in the shade now. <laughs> so, talk to us about your journey over because you've uploaded to Twitter saying that I'm responsible for you being at the Adelaide Oval right now. Well, Kados, I'm a big fan of yours. I watch everything you do. Oh. Uh, and so, I'll be watching this later <laughs> on. Um, I woke up this morning, you sent me a photo of my favourite restaurant, which is in Adelaide, Cafe de Villiers, which is a 24 hour, uh, you know, bakery. You've spoken so highly about it. The Marmalade boys took me there last night. I had a pie at like did 11. Did you film some? I did. Overlay it. I will. I had a pie at 11, <laughs> 11 o'clock at night and then um, I messaged you to be like, oh look, look where I'm at. I didn't know it would inspire a so plane ride over. I woke up and then so I booked a flight and came <laughs> and I found a ticket. So this is either, well actually, whether we win or lose doesn't matter because I'm going to have some Cafe de Villiers. I'm very excited about it. Now, I'm pretty sure the people know you're a massive D's nuffy. Um, Jeez, yep. we were good last week. Well, we weren't actually great against Port Adelaide, but we got the job done. How are you feeling about tonight's game? Last week was a statement win. Yeah. It was a statement win. Now, today could be a bit of a huge win hangover. Five day rest. They've been in Adelaide for five days. A couple of sore boys. Sore boys. We've got some thumb injuries. We've got some weird <laughs> ones. But the ins for Adelaide aren't great. Yeah, I did see that. But last year, Adelaide's best game that they played was in Gather Round. So we could be yes. seeing a completely different Adelaide. And there's nothing worse than a team who has nothing to lose. I watched and there's Chompers. <laughs> Tony Jones. Tony Jones is there with Tom Morris. I did watch Rog, his heart got broken last year at Gather Round when the Crows kicked the first 10. So hopefully that doesn't happen tonight. Um, enjoy your night and I'll see you at the cafe Likewise, later. Man. Yeah, it doesn't matter who wins, we're gonna have a nice village pie. <laughs> Go days. Up early on a Friday morning because we're going to chat to Nat Five. 
He has sort of this Undertaker type of vibe about him where he seems like one of the really hard ones to get, like him, Dusty Martin. They seem sort of mystical, so I'm right we've got the chance to chat to him. It's gonna be good, we're going down to the Pirate Life Brewery at 7.20 a.m. And the D's played last night, so we're up a little bit later because we went to the footy. Um, and I'm quite quite tired, but I'll find a gear here. You, My look, you look shit ass. <laughs> Let's be honest, you look really bad. I said to Rog, I'm like, I feel like, um, you know, Ricky Ponting wasn't at his freshest every game he went out. What did you say? Well, I see you look a bit more like Nathan Horitz and Ricky <laughs> Ponting at the moment, mate. So You called me Marcus North at one stage. Yeah, I did call you Marcus. I actually think Marcus North, will, Marcus North will this, was a gun, which is why I've changed over there. And you didn't want to put it out in the public. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I actually was a big Marcus North <laughs> man. He was my favourite cricketer at the time. So was Dutch. Dutch was a big Marcus North man. And I was, I was certain that he didn't have it at the level, but... um. Enough Marcus North chat, let's get down to the Pirate Life Brewery and chat the fight. Why not? The shirt doesn't have structural integrity, so it's sort of dragging me down a little bit, but that's okay. Go to the rear range, mate. Rogers is... Uh, Rogers is perfect. Yeah, no, have, have a play around. We're here with Nat Fire thanks to Crypto.com. We're down here at the Pirate Life Brewery, Rog, and we've got a couple of fan questions to ask the great man. Absolutely, we do, and to make it all the better, the final question will be receiving a signed Fremantle Guernsey, if you don't mind. Uh, we'll kick things off with a question that is by Sarah, which says, what does your ideal day off look like? Great question. Sarah started really well. Well, we're here in Adelaide for 10 days and we have two days off. So, for Sarah, um, I like to start by getting in the water in the morning, whether that's a surf or go for a swim, a bit of yoga. A little bit concerned. I don't know if you've seen the Div 12 Resis, the Checkers and yeah, Stray. Yeah. That's what we're, who we're playing, playing with. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be yeah. a piss out. You're yeah, getting yeah, huge yeah. crowds. So, Five is a legend. Just one of the all-time great players. <laughs> all-time king, mate. Mate, he's just so nice. Um, I felt a little bit like we couldn't, well, me personally, I couldn't quite get momentum in the flow with the questions because it's so early. Can't really blame it on that, but it's like, towards the end we finally got there, but um, I think that'll come up a treat and hopefully Crypto and the Dockers are happy. How'd you find it, Rog? Loved it. Absolutely legend. All right, let's um, go get a feed. You um, ordering that Uber or? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get in the boot. <laughs> Boys put on the clinic again. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> the Marmalade boys are geniuses. That is, checkers are just text me that. Um, it'll go up probably this afternoon. But that, yeah. that, that execution to that video is unbelievable. Yeah, that's so an good. idea, man, if I've ever seen one. Roger and I went to Friday Night Footy to watch the power take on the Bombers. We headed over the River Torrens and went straight to the hill to get amongst the atmosphere of in excess, never tear us apart. Look at Will Taylor just soaking in the scenes. I then went to grab a feed. I went for the hot dog and the pie. Had to test the pie's structural integrity and I was quite impressed, to be honest. Good base and plenty of crunch. I thought it would be a funny shot if Rog lent in and pretended to eat my pie. But he actually ate my pie, which I thought was quite questionable. Forget the Essendon edge. This was a Port Adelaide procession as the home team piled on the goals. Rog was having the time of his life, so he went for a bit of a wander around Adelaide Oval, checked out some of the history before purchasing some Magnums using our crypto app. We carried the ice creams back to our seat. Thought we'd get a nice scenic vlog shot of us showing our ice creams. A piece of my ice cream went absolutely set for six. Apologies to the people who were sitting in front of us. We watched some more footy before having a little romantic walk across the River Torrens to wrap up our day at Adelaide Oval. So we're at Adelaide Oval on the Saturday and Roggie's team are uh, 3-0 I believe. Trudy's team are 3-0. We're in the last quarter and there's nine points separating. Both very nervous. I'm going to check back in in about half an hour's time to chat to the winners and losers. Always to give the Blues a bit of light, a bit of hope.
last quarter, I thought you boys had it won. I've lost hope, but then when I when I lost all hope, I probably I probably did. I accepted defeat. Charlie Kerner missed a set shot from 45 metres out on the angle, and Dreezy celebrated over the fence with their five kick run for 60. And that was the moment I knew. I said, "You're going to regret that one, Dreezy." I thought that is the moment the game turned and it's when it did. But I love you to bits. I'm sorry for being an asshole. No, mate. I was having a laugh. Good fun. But what a what a game of footy. Early Sunday morning, Rog. It's actually as early as it gets for mine. It's um, we got up at four, got to the airport at five. We're just gonna go chill, and we'll be on the six o'clock tra uh, train. Six o'clock plane. Last year for Gather Round, we did the Gatherthon. This year, we did the Gatherthon five kilometer fun run, and we've tapped out just on the last day. We came, we saw, we conquered. Baggers, four points in the bank. Every single one of them deserved. The Demons, <laughs> four points in the bank. A bit more convincing. <laughs> and we get on the flight home, get back to Melbourne, get back home after having one of the all-time great weekends. It was so much fun. Um, what have you got planned for your Sunday, considering we're going to have the whole day? WrestleMania! <laughs> I'm probably going to... Just catch up on three games of footy, which I cannot wait for. Rock and Roman versus Seth and Cody. I cannot wait to duck in. Come on, my tribal chief. One's up. <laughs> um, I think that's it for the vlog, considering there's not much that's going to happen between now and the next couple well, of days. Well, actually, without trying to dox anyone, the uh, the Loosh, the Fevolution, <laughs> is on the same flight as us. So maybe if you have more content, maybe if he sits next to us, we'll get a bit more content <laughs> with the Loosh. Um, appreciate everyone tuning in. Appreciate all the support. We'll see you for some more content very soon.